watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And today, what I've got going on for you is we're going to do a potato spinach au gratin. Yeah, I learned this on Local Sporosalo, all right? It's a South American uh, barbecue channel. They speak in Spanish. If you don't speak in Spanish, good thing you're watching this one because I'm going to show you what they did, all right? They did this um, recipe in their Pollo Perfecto um, video, except they're from Uruguay or Argentina, so they'd say Pollo Perfecto. All right, and they did it on their Argentine uh, parrilla or parrisha if they're from Argentina. All right, anyway, um, I'm gonna be doing, repeating this recipe. It is a potato casserole, all right? Basically, it's potatoes au gratin. And now I recently did a scallop potatoes recipe. And in that, I explained the difference between scallop potatoes and potatoes au gratin. The short answer is, is that scallop potatoes uses milk or cream and potatoes au gratin uses cheese. Well, this one uses milk, but it also uses cheese. So it's a potatoes au gratin and it involves spinach. I've already baked the potatoes. You can see how I baked the potatoes. It's going to be in the iCard right there. All right, so um, just look up there and you can see that and it'll also be linked below so you'll see how I baked these potatoes. All right, I got this uh, cast iron skillet. It's an old one and it's heating up and I got a little over half a stick of butter going in there. Look, it's not quite level out here in the grass, but that's okay. We're gonna cook this just the same. Well, that butter's getting pretty hot, but that's okay. We're gonna put in an onion. This is a yellow onion. They use red onion in the uh, video, their video. You can use red onion. I've got a real strict rule on uh, what kind of onions to use, okay? And that is the kind of onion you got. Well, that's the kind of onion you use. And I got yellow onion, so I'm using yellow onion. But red onion was in their original recipe. All right, I'm gonna link that video below. So we're gonna get these onions browning up. Now this is about five cloves of garlic chopped up. We're gonna get that browning up. Okay, onions are browning, garlic's browning, I don't want the garlic to burn. And what I've got is fresh spinach. The bag said it's already washed. So I put this whole bag of fresh spinach in there and I may add more. See if I can get it in without spilling it. Might have to let that cook down a little bit and then add more. Might not put the whole bag in. Let's get that cooking down and sauteed down. That may be enough right there. Fresh spinach. Because you know how I know it's enough? It filled up the pan. So I guess that's enough. All right, this is also not in the original Locos Portasado recipe. Uh, they did have a seasoning blend they used. I am going to use Uncle Steve Shake the Spicier, my favorite one. Got this brand new bottle here, but I also have this other bottle that Steve made for me and put my little uh, channel picture that I use at the end of my shows a lot. And um, so this one's open, that one's not. So we're gonna go ahead and use this spicier with Uncle Steve's shake there. But that's probably enough. That's all we need. Want the spinach to give the flavor. Want that spicier from Uncle Steve to give it a little oomph, but not overpower it. As the spinach begins to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the spinach from the bag as I can fit it into the pan. Okay, I've got these baked potatoes. I did um, open that one just for my baked potato show, which uh, showed you how I baked these in that video. But what I wanna do now is just take them and slice them just like this. Look at that, look at that, just slice them. They will kind of fall apart, but we're gonna cook this dish with the skins in, on them. We're not gonna peel them, all right? So just slice them all like that. Okay, the potatoes are all sliced up and we're ready to get them into the pan. Um, but before we do that, I gotta finish cooking the spinach. My son just tasted the potato. If you didn't see how to bake the potato video, this is why you need to watch it. How are these baked potatoes? They're very, very delicious. Cooked them on this UK grill. Okay, now that the spinach is cooked down, I think I can get some or most of this other bag in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook it down too. And I'll tell you how much of the bag I get into this mixture um, when I'm ready to put it on a potato. Okay, in the Locos Por Asado video, they used a bunch of small skillets like this. These are little five inch skillets and I've got half a dozen of them. I've got three that are old like these, all right? And I've got three that are more modern lodges, all the same size skillets. So I could do that, but I don't feel like making five dishes and washing five. So I'm gonna use this one right here. If you didn't see my scallop potato recipe, I'll tell you about this one, but it's old, old, gate mark old, but I love to use it, all right? Okay, I'm going to put butter, just smear some butter along here. We'll be using the rest of it 
in another dish I'm doing, but I'm just gonna smear butter all over this pan. And then I'm gonna start lining these potato slices up just like this along the bottom. One layer here. Man, might save the end pieces to eat because I got more potatoes than I really need. I haven't tried this dish yet, but I like spinach. I like scalloped potatoes. I like potatoes all gratin. And um, boy, I just think this is gonna be delicious. I like Uncle Steve's shake too, all right? So just gonna line all these potato slices up along the bottom of this pan. Okay, I got the uh, first layer done. I put um, small pieces in small spaces and large pieces in large spaces, and I tried to fill in the whole bottom layer the best I could. Okay, I want you to know that I did get both of those bags of spinach cooked down into this garlic onion mixture. And that's about the way I think it probably ought to be. This is the first time I've made this recipe, but it looks good to me. So we're gonna shove it over there away from those coals, all right? Now, I'm also gonna raise this up a little bit right here. And you may notice I got a Dutch oven lid right there. I don't have a Dutch oven, but we're gonna use a Dutch oven lid anyway. I'm gonna take some of these hot coals and I'm gonna put them right there on top of this Dutch oven lid. And we're gonna get that hot because I'm gonna need that to be hot. Just like that. Now, the coals I shoved to the back, I need to shove back away from here and back from under my spinach where we're going to be cooking this potato dish. I like this grill and I like being able to move the coals around. So there's nothing under my spinach dish right now. And I'm gonna put the potatoes right here. All right, there's the first layer of potatoes that we've arranged off the grill. All right, and what I'm gonna do, start spooning some of the spinach on top here, just like this. All right, I got a layer of spinach there. Now, I'm gonna add some milk. How much? That much. Looks good to me. Now, guess what? Another layer of the baked potato slices. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm gonna arrange another layer and we're gonna put another layer of that spinach on it. All right, I got another layer of potatoes. I'm gonna put that softened butter right there. Why? Because I want to. I'm gonna try to smear it around a little bit. Then we're gonna put the spinach on top of it. I got that butter, I need to use it. I'm not gonna throw it back in the refrigerator, so I might as well put it in here. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of smear it around. Don't know if the extra butter was in the original recipe. Been a while since I watched the local Sporto Saldo video, but most of this is correct to what they did. They used smaller cast iron skillets and made individual servings. I'm making like one family size serving in this nine inch skillet. And uh, they didn't use Uncle Steve's shake. I used Uncle Steve's shake. In fact, I'm gonna use a little bit more of the Uncle Steve's shake spicier. Just a bit more. If you like the original, use the original. You know why? Because I like this. I live in Louisiana on the Texas border and I want it with a little kick to it. Now, add some more spinach. All right, don't spoon more spinach on top. Now remember, I've got very few coals underneath this. Very few. All right, well, that's the remainder of my spinach mixture. And what I'm gonna do now is sprinkle Parmesan cheese. Oh gosh, I forgot to put the extra milk. Gotta add more milk. We added extra uh, butter and Uncle Steve's shake, but I want more milk in this too. All right. Now, because I'm adding cheese, it makes these potatoes all gratin, not scalloped. I found that out recently. And like I said, if you hadn't seen my scalloped potato video, that's an old recipe that I like to make for my family. You may enjoy that. Uh, that one's a little more original. This one's a copycat from Local Sport Asado. Anyway, Parmesan, all right? Got the good kind too, Kraft. Not that store brand that I normally buy. 
Oh yeah. Um, cooking 1.5 says use name brand ingredients. All right, I'm just gonna kind of excuse my using my fingers, but this is backyard country cooking. And that looks like enough. I want this cheese to melt. So guess what? Careful, no ashes in the food. So we're gonna go ahead and move that over like that. All right, and we're gonna set this Dutch oven lid real easy, right on top of that casserole. Not gonna be long, but we wanna melt that cheese. All right. All right, it hasn't been long, but I bet that cheese is good and melted now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay, well, you know what? This is real cooking. I tried the recipe. I had that skillet too full. I should have used a deeper skillet. If I'm gonna put a Dutch oven lid on it or use a Dutch oven lid that's bigger and doesn't go doesn't go quite so close to the food. But basically I flipped it over, dumped all the coals out, turned it here because there's no ashes on this side, scraped the cheese off and tried to put the cheese back on my potato spinach au gratin. It'll still taste good even though it doesn't look good. But um, you get the point of how to make this. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I've got some fish and some sausages I'm gonna be cooking. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it down in the warmer box. This uh, grill has a warmer box down, down below and uh, we'll do the taste test inside. Okay, well it stayed warm in the warmer and uh, that's still too hot to grab. Uh, grab this right here. And I did my best to fix it. So ooh, some of the milk is still coming out. So maybe it's still a little too runny, but I think it's gonna be good. Everything is cooked in it. And this is the first time I've tried it. So that's what it looks like uh, on the inside there. Ooh, and I probably should have let some of that milk cook out, but we're going to uh, eat it anyway, just as it is. All right, potatoes, spinach, all gratin. I learned from um, Locos Por Asado. Look how cheesy it is, it's good. Um, when I make a recipe like this for the first time and I show you on camera, I do that so that you can learn how not to make those mistakes. When you put the coals on top, use a Dutch oven lid that is bigger than the skillet you're cooking it in. Not about the same size, cause that melted to the cheese. But I did my best to fix it, cause hey, this is country boy cooking. All right, I also probably won't add quite as much milk next time, but I think it's really good. Shannon, have you tried it? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Yes, it's amazing. All right, so spinach, let's get some potatoes with it. It's very good. Oh man, that is really, really is good. I'm gonna sprinkle a little more Uncle Steve's shake on it because I could use a little bit more, but it's good, y'all. Y'all gotta try it. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. I like to say it in Spanish, like you do in Locos por Asado. Gracias por mirar.